All right, folks, another unboxing video. So this should be another CPU cooler. I think this is a four pipe one, one of the, the cheaper thermal rights. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. All right, so we're looking at the Assassin X90 SE. So this must have uh, smaller fan blades on it. 94, there's the dimensions, the fan. Looks like a 92 millimeter fan. This would probably be good for my i3 13100F or i3 12100F. I can see the other information. They don't include what the TDP values are. Uh, it does include thermal paste, RAM compatibility, all that. You see the different models it's compatible with. AM4, AM5, LGA, 1151, 1200, 1700. And so let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so you know this being a smaller fan, you're probably going to use it in a uh, smaller case, right? Maybe more likely for an ITX or something. Uh, is this the English side? Yes, this is the English side. Let's go ahead and show you guys the uh, the manual. Assassin X90 SE. So I probably will get a couple more thermal rights and we'll do a some kind of you know comparison I'll probably run some benchmarks and let you guys see what the temps are between them all right so this is basically like the other ones it's just not as much meat to right and slightly offset so got to read the directions on this uh, I would appear the fan goes on this side, blowing that direction, all right? Of course, you'll remove this. Uh, not so tall, obviously, and not as wide as the previous CPU coolers. There's a smaller fan. And doesn't look, you know, as nice as the other ones, but still decent quality. And the RPMs, folks, 2,400 RPM. So hopefully to make up for the lack of um, diameter, they're going to spin faster, which you know, potentially could mean it's louder. Four-pin connector. So what's in the baggie? Hopefully everything I need. So this does have the uh, the better base plate in it. Oddly, the last one I did did not have the good base plate. You have to, you know, assemble everything together. It's just a huge hassle. Um, so different different sets of spacers. Interesting. Every one of these is different. Like in this one, all three of the different size spacers are in the same bag or same you know connected bag. Um, this has the, looks like the TF4 thermal paste. I'm not sure if that's the inferior one. There's the TF7, which came with the more expensive CPU cooler. Actually, it's come with all the ones that have been more expensive than, than this. Two sets of fan brackets, so, um... You're out of luck if you wanted to add a second fan. And so this, interesting enough, looks like the base of it is the same size as the other, the bigger fan. So, all right. So, folks, that's all there is to this video. Now, in the future, I will do, uh, we'll do installation video, and uh, we'll show you that. And at some point, I will combine all the numbers on these so you guys can see how low the temps are when it's just idling how how high it is in the benchmark and then i'll run uh replay mode or something and you can see the temps the average temp and the, the high temp in uh, some gaming thanks for checking out the video please like please subscribe thank you